hey y'all good evening welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome to my channel i am nikisha wise and today you guys i'm going to talk to you all about suffering and you know what does it do for us um how does it affect us in certain ways okay and you know why god utilizes it you know i can touch on that just a little bit okay let you guys know because i know it's a lot of us going through suffering right now um i go through suffering too as well the lord told us that we will go through suffering all right so i'm gonna start off with what does it mean to endure suffering okay to remain firm under suffering or misfortune without yielding remain strong without giving up okay this right here builds up certain muscles within our spirit okay certain muscles within us we didn't even know needed to be worked on when we are going through suffering and pain it's just something about pain also that does put a fire up under us in a certain way um and help us to move forward and to do the things that we are supposed to be doing because i know that a lot of us can get comfortable i do that sometimes you know and i don't even know why i guess it's just a human thing where we will start to get comfortable in a certain spot or position and we'll go through some type of suffering to get us moved out of whatever area that's in to, or to draw us draw our attention to something that the lord has been trying to show us you know and uh, with my car situation that showed me that okay also long suffering is the greek word macrothumia macrothumia which means long tempered or patient forbearance okay patience that's the big one for me because that's the main thing that developed within me through all, all of my suffering in my 20s is patience okay and you would think i would have all the patience in the world but the lord is actually still working on me with that um which is kind of weird because i was like lord i should have all the patience in the world no mm -mm. there are certain things within us that's still going to be needing to be worked on okay the lord is an awesome mechanic for us okay that's what you want to call it all right long suffering is one of the fruits of the spirit too because it produces steadfastness steadfastness means to be firmly fixed and not subject to change to be firm in belief and determination and to be loyal and faithful long suffering will also make you more faithful to christ you know to be more loyal to christ and to put your faith in christ when you are going through long suffering because you if you're going through any type of suffering that means that you have a need for something or a want or whatever but mostly uh, i think it's mostly a need in in certain areas but for me right now i think it's more of a want but in in a certain case i have a need too as well so all right and it like i said before it can put a fire up under you and get you moving whenever you're supposed to have been doing something anyway and it, and it can also put you on a certain path that the lord wanted you to be on to as well long suffering and suffering through something or having misfortune and things like that it can actually put you on the path that the lord wants you to be on and if a certain thing didn't happen before, didn't happen in your life you wouldn't be in this position today you know what i'm saying so it's it's being utilized by god to help us all right and then have you ever said i didn't go through all of this for nothing i use that i use that throughout all of my sufferings and things like that whenever i go through things i say i'm not about to get up give up because I didn't go through all of those years of this or that for nothing. So I also, so that's another thing that can actually motivate me to keep going too as well. You guys, when I was upset, I was upset about my car. I really was. Um, but let me tell y'all something. Okay. So the Lord sent somebody to help me that same night. The same night. It wasn't even an hour later the Lord sent somebody to, to help me. And it wasn't, you know, nobody online because I didn't even make the video to the day, to the next day, but I was still feeling the effects of the, the hit and run. But um, I was like, Lord Jesus. Okay. Because the Lord does tell us not to worry, you know, but I was still upset about that. Okay. And that was amazing how he actually sent somebody that same, like that same night. And I know a lot of you guys would probably was like, well, you should, you know, call you a taxi or a cab. We don't even have those in my area, y'all. So that's what really like make me feel some kind of way because the Lord actually has me in a place that I didn't even want to be. I didn't want to be down here. I wanted to be somewhere. I wanted to move. I never wanted to move back here ever. And But when I asked the Lord, he told me, he told me that I had some unfinished business, whatever that means. But yes. 
long suffering and suffering you guys it, it helps us so much think about job and then in the end if we lose things we will actually end up getting a lot of these things back tenfold 100 fold because whenever i went through and lost a lot of my i lost everything end up getting things back times whatever of what i had before like my life is better than it was before throughout all of my suffering so y'all keep that in mind yes it hurts you know and it can be agitating aggravating but just know that god has your best interest in mind your best interest at heart and then this world is a fallen world so we're also going to experience suffering because of the world that we are in because of the things that are going on because of um the enemy uh planting all of these demonic seeds everywhere you know this is the this is the devil's world this isn't ours okay this is not this is not home and the lord is going to destroy this place one day you guys but we have to endure until the end we have to keep going y'all we have to like we have to do not give up do not stop remember who pulled you out before whenever you was going through whatever it was you was going through remember when you got through that if you got through that you can do the same thing for this whatever it is that you may be suffering in or whatever area you may be suffering in the lord will make a way and pull you out and then when you come out, you're going to come out with some newfound strength, y'all. It's, it's a certain strength that you develop after you endure suffering and hard times and knowledge. You know, I got so much revelation from everything that I've ever went through in my life, okay? And that's why a lot of times I come on here and I tell you guys about the things that happen with me because I'd be like, this could help somebody. That's, <laughs> that's how I think, y'all. I'd be like, this could help somebody. Because I know that if this is happening to me, this is happening to a lot of people all over the world okay y'all so i love you guys i am adjusting right now as a matter of fact i told you guys that it's always changes throughout my life it's never nothing is always the same with me so even if i was to get a partner he would have to get used to changes <laughs> if he's if he don't like change then we couldn't we wouldn't make it okay because things are always changing with me so i'm going through that change again right now i told you guys my seasons they they switch and they change a lot and um it's actually fun it's, it's fun once i stop looking at things in a certain way and actually view the th view things in a spiritual way as far as how my father operates whenever he allows certain things to happen okay and that's how you guys are supposed to do look at the way that the lord operates and then look at your situation and then you'll be able to see the revelation in that in the end or you'll be able to see it throughout your suffering okay but anyway, you guys, I hope that this video helped y'all. I love y'all so, so much. And I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.